on problem five from the max min group work. I want to give a brief description of the solution as, as you know, I know some people still struggle with kind of the trig identities and the unit circle and things like that and whatnot. So in that specific problem, we were given a function, which is a product of an exponential and a trig function. And of course, the goal is to figure out the local min max, as well as the absolute min max for this function over the interval zero to two pi. So the first step is we would like to find the critical numbers by differentiating f and setting the derivative equal to zero. Now, to differentiate this function, we're going to apply the product rule. So first, we'll differentiate e to the negative t and keep sine t fixed. And then the second time, we'll keep e to the negative t fixed and differentiate sine t. And the trick to finding the critical numbers from this is to factor out e to the negative t and be left with negative sine t plus cos t. And when we set this equal to zero, this e to the negative t, this, this is never zero, so we just have to focus on the values of t for which this is equal to zero. And those happen to be the values of t for which sine t is cos t, or in other words, for which tan t is equal to 1. Now on the given interval 0 to 2 pi, there are two places where tangent t is equal to 1, right? These are the places, remember, tangent, the ways to think about that are, you could think of it as it's the ratio of sine to cosine, but also it's kind of useful to think of this as the slope of the line which connects the origin to the unit circle. Now, the two places where the slope is going to be 1 are going to be at pi over 4, and at 5 pi over 4. And so those would be our two critical values for the function, right? Critical numbers, okay. Now, to figure out whether these are local min or local max, we're going to make a little chart here, right? And we're going to look at the sine of f prime over different intervals of interest. So if t is between 0 and pi over 4, right? Between 0 and pi over 4, if you look at f prime, over this interval, cosine is bigger than sine, right? Over this interval, you could think of it as the x-coordinate is going to be bigger than the y-coordinate until we cross this value, right? And therefore, over this interval, uh, the sine of f prime is going to be positive. Now, what does that mean in terms of f? Well, recall that a positive first derivative means that the function f is increasing over that interval. Now, from pi over 4 to 5 pi over 4, the next critical value, right? Over this interval, we have this chunk where sine and cosine are both positive, but sine is bigger, which makes this negative. And that, so, so this, this sum right here will continue to be negative until 5 pi over 4. So overall, f prime is negative, which means that f is decreasing. Right? And then finally, from 5 pi over 4 to 2 pi, right? now we do have this interval where uh, cosine and sine are both negative. But then we have another interval here where uh, cosine is now positive and sine is negative. Overall, the derivative is going to be positive over this interval, which means that f is increasing. And that tells you that here at pi over 4, right, we have, uh, we're increasing and then decreasing. So this is a local max. And then here, we're decreasing and then increasing, which means that this is a local min. So once we found the critical numbers and classify them as local min or local max, we'd still like to find the absolute value, the absolute min and max over the interval of interest. And for that, we simply need to check the value of f at the endpoints of the interval and the critical points within that interval. So 0, well, sine of 0 is 0, so f is 0 here. At pi over 4, we have e to the negative pi over 4 times sine pi over 4, which is 1 over root 2. At 5 pi over 4, we have the same thing, but the opposite. Well, not exactly the same, because we have 5 pi over 4 in the numerator. right? And then back at here, we have 0 again. So we can see that this one is going to be the absolute max then. In fact, it's the only one of the four that was positive, right? And this one will be the absolute min 
since it's the only one of the four that's negative.